SCHD. Is it a dividend investor's dream ETF? And what do we need to know if we want to mix this into our investment portfolio? In this video, we're going to discuss just that. There's actually three requirements that SCHD has baked into it. And we need to look at what's the growth potential and how does this compare to the overall stock market and the S&P 500. Let's get right to it. And if you like dividend videos just like this, make sure you subscribe for more. Now, SCHD tracks the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. It's 100 stocks. There's actually three qualifications that are placed within this ETF that makes it very interesting when it comes down to your dividend portfolio. The very first qualification of SCHD that it requires its holdings to have a minimum of 10 years of dividend payouts and a minimum of five years of dividend growth. Now, that's important for a dividend investor. This could be what helps, of course, in this overall fund of why it may maintains its 3.2% yield and why it continues to track so many dividend investors. You know, we talk on this channel a lot about the importance of making sure that we check under the hood of our vehicle to make sure that every financial report within that stock or ETF makes sense. And what's nice about SCHD, it automatically does that with its second qualification. So it filters for quality factors of each of its holdings. It's looking for relatively low debt, high free cash flow, and high return on equity. And the third qualification is, of course, the yield. SCHD does actually rate these holdings based on its dividend yield, which makes it nice and why it's able to maintain its great dividend rate, as we'll see a little bit later in this video. So let's get right down to brass tacks, shall we? Right here we are on Seeking Alpha, one of my favorite sites to track my ETFs and my stocks, and we are looking at SCHD. Now, as of the recording of this video, it's going for $77.95 per share, and I want to point out a couple things that are really important. The very first one is, as you may know, if you've been following the stock market in any period of time in 2022 and even in some of 2023, the market hasn't been that favorable to us. But let's zoom in here for a second and let me show you some things that are super important. The very first thing I like to look at is the expense ratio. Now, expense ratio is what, of course, you gotta pay as a result of buying into any type of ETF. But don't worry, they don't send you a bill. This is just taken out of your portfolio value. If you invest $1,000 into SCHD, the expense ratio would charge you 60 cents per year. If you have $10,000 invested, it's only $6 per year. They pay dividends every quarter. In fact, just in December of 2022, they pay down their dividend of 70 cents per share. So every quarter, every three months, they're gonna pay a dividend. The dividend rate is $2.56 per share and the yield is 3.29%. And that's what's really important to zoom in on is the yield. At 3.29%, what makes that super exciting is the fact that because they have these three qualifications that they use for their Dow Jones Industrial Index and the holdings that they have within the fund, it allows them to maintain that nice dividend yield and the dividend growth, which we'll look at in just a moment. Now, if I zoom out and I look at the five year and I look at the 10 year, look at that. It's a, an improvement of 162.9%, not bad at all. But how does that compare to the stock market? How does that compare to the S&P 500? I'm glad you asked, let's take a look. Now you can see right now, SCHD down 4.69%, the S&P 500 down 14.16%. So it's actually beating the S&P 500, as you can see. Now that comes with a little bit of a warning. Uh, obviously, SCHD is not primed to continue to grow that fast and beat the S&P 500. If we're in a bull market and the overall stock market is doing extremely well, I see SCHD kind of holding its own, but not beating that S&P 500 index consistently. If I zoom out here, you'll see why. So if I go to three years, if I go to five years, so you can see with the bull run of 2021, obviously SCHD as indicated by the orange line is down below the overall S&P 500. Now, of course, over the long period of time, over the five years, it is still up though. Look at the difference between the S&P 500 at 42.69% return and SCHD at 46% return. And that's thanks to, of course, a little bit of a dip in 2018, 2020, and most recently in 2022. So remember what I talked about earlier, we had those three qualifications. Let's take a look behind the hood of the holdings that it has. So right here on the Schwab website, we can see the top holdings. These are the top 10 holdings of SCHD as of 1-13-2023, with a majority of its asset tied up in Verizon, Broadcom, Home Depot, and then followed by Texas, Cisco, Merck, BlackRock, IBM, Pepsi, and Coca-Cola. All very, very good dividend paying stocks. Now, what's really cool is it gives that balance, not only of just dividend payouts, but also a little bit of growth. And that's why I think we've seen these strong numbers when it comes down to how it's able to hold its own, especially in 2022, as it ultimately was beating the S&P 500. 
And as I always say with ETFs, the beautiful thing about ETFs is that it kind of self cleanses itself. It's not you going out and buying directly into Verizon, for example. If you put all your eggs into one basket and that basket falls, that egg is cracking. Every single egg you put in that basket is cracking. But because SCHD invests a little bit, as you can see the percentage, into all these different companies. If tomorrow Verizon goes belly up, something bad comes out, some bad piece of news, and you know Verizon just dies, well, you're not gonna be like going down and flaming balls with Verizon because you have SCHD. And while it will obviously react a little bit to Verizon, it has other stocks invested. And what it'll do is it'll self cleanse and rotate up other stocks that meet those qualifications we talked about earlier. So what I've been doing is I've been investing in SCHD every single month. And right now I have a total of 120 shares in my Roth IRA. And I think that's really important. A lot of people talk about, you know, the different brokerages you can use, and it's totally up to you what you want to use. You can certainly invest in SCHD in anything you'd like, whether that's a normal brokerage account, a Roth IRA, a 401k, if your company offers SCHD as an option. But the most important thing to notice is if you put it in a Roth IRA, there comes benefits with that. Now, right now, as of the recording of this video for 20 23, you're allowed to put up to $6,500 per year into a Roth IRA. What that allows you to do is put your money in on a rotating monthly basis or all at once if you really want to, but as that stock grows and as the dividends get reinvested and paid out into the Roth IRA account, it is sheltered from taxes. So it grows tax-free and all those dividends become tax-free as long as they remain in the Roth IRA as you grow your portfolio. Portfolio. Now, certainly, again, you could put that into a normal brokerage account, but if you do, just keep in mind when it does pay the dividends, even if you reinvest those dividends, you will have to pay taxes on potentially qualified dividends. So just make sure you do your research. And by the way, even this video is not financial advice directly to you to buy, hold, or sell anything. And always know that things come with risk and always consult your financial advisor. So let's talk about the uh, thing that we always like to talk about, and that's right here at the Portfolio Visualizer. And let's put SCHD to the test. So let's say, for example, over the last 10 years, years from 2012 until 2022, you decided to start out with $100. And then what you did is you contributed $100 every single month into SCHD. So there I am $100 starting off $100 contributed monthly. And we're going to invest all of that into SCHD. And this is with dividends reinvested. My initial balance over the 10 years grows from 100 to $30,295. That represents roughly about a 13% growth. And how nice is that? Now, just like we looked at earlier, what happens if you put it into an S&P 500 fund? I'm just gonna pick one randomly. VOO is Vanguard's S&P 500. It basically tracks the S&P 500 index. So we're gonna compare these two directly. So we got SCHD and VOO. You have Jimmy over here and Jimmy decides he's gonna invest $100 a month into SCHD. And then you have Johnny over there and Johnny's gonna invest $100 into the S&P 500. They're both gonna reinvest their dividends. Let's see what happens after 10 years. Well, there's a little bit of a difference, not that they're completely far off, but you can see SCHD at 30,295. And of course the S&P 500 at only $26,000. So it looks like Jimmy made out a little bit better. But again, past performance doesn't always mean future performance will repeat. This could go completely backwards and then Johnny over here actually ends up making more than Jimmy because the S&P actually outperforms SCHD. It could happen, we never know, but that's what's so interesting about SCHD is every time you buy a share of stock, you give yourself a raise and that's kind of cool. If you're ready for the next awesome personal finance video, check it out right here and we'll see you on the next video.